Hi, this is Michael Benjamin Jacobson. This is one of my T-shirts. Don't underestimate the power of listening. Uh, I've got 200 T-shirts on my website that you can find in the description tag down below. Actually make $7 US on the T-shirts and every time someone makes an order, I've got to actually pay for their order. And then within a week, I get the money that they paid for their order. So it actually costs me uh, money financially to actually process orders, which is hard on me. And uh, I don't think I would have started the whole thing if I had known that. Uh, so um, it costs me a lot of money to do these T-shirts. I like them. And uh, uh, I was thinking of uh, doing the 200 T-shirts that I've got and then uh, branching off into five separate subjects, one on success, one on love, one on social justice, and uh, five different subjects. And um, having 200 on each of those subjects, I found with my first 200 that the, say the sayings, the quotes were too long and people walking past can't really read the whole quote on some of them. Uh, they can, but... Um, if you're standing with someone, they can read your T-shirt. Um, they're, they're a really good message for church, actually. Um, if you wore them to church and someone just stood there and uh, read your T-shirt, uh, they'd get rebuked a lot of times. So, uh, you know, my idea of developing the T-shirts wasn't a big money spinner. It was more uh, getting the gospel out there in a way that's not Christianese. Uh, so many sick and... Uh, seedy and sort of disturbing sort of Christian t-shirts out there and it was a Holy Spirit led uh, thing that I do I sat down uh, the other night and wrote a, uh, 65 quotes on love and then I sat down last night and wrote the other 135 so I, got, I think I got about 220 230 uh, quotes so far so it was really Holy Spirit inspired. Now, I want to share with you something you don't know. That um, a Kindle book, once it's been uh, edited and had its cover, once it cost you a thousand, two thousand dollars to produce, uh, once you've paid that, it really doesn't cost uh, anything. Um, so, if if a Kindle book is twelve fifty or $14 on Amazon, uh, certain price structures, you get 70% of, of the cost of the product and Amazon gets 30. So someone with a $12 book would be getting about $9. But that's okay for, you know, you to make some money on your book, but it's like paper, you know, like MP3 downloads. Uh, all all a person da has done is uh, got a like a hundred dollar cover to make it look good and edited an MP3. Uh, if you if you do an MP3, it probably is just straight recording. But it's vapor, you know. When you're selling a teaching for sixty dollars, it's vapor. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, so if if you got a website with all these resources with MP3s downloads. It's just paper. It's just it's just vapor. It's it's nothing. So I want to use this in context with someone like um, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, trying to see. Uh, uh, the the person of identity network, um, um, but uh, uh, no, uh, I'm forgetting his name. Uh, perhaps uh, Holy Spirit didn't want me to share it, but um, he runs identity network, and uh, he's got a whole lot of vapor, right? A whole lot of MP3 teachings that cost a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars for all these teachings, and um, Jeremiah Johnson. Uh, is someone I've been watching has got all this vaporware too, uh, all these MP3 downloads. Um, some of them are off conferences. So he's been paid to go to a conference. He's spoken at a conference. 
that have recorded the conference and put a conference on MP3 for download. And then they charge you a whole lot of money for that. Well, you know, that's a product. Uh, the Holy Spirit told me years ago, people make their resources uh, because uh, people won't donate to the ministry. You know? We're going to make resources so people think they're getting getting something for their money. And uh, so there's a reason to raise money. But what seriously offends me is uh, 50% sales off, you know, for... for um, uh, for uh, what's the name day? Um, what's the day uh, that you have that you celebrate God? Thanksgiving, fifty percent off Thanksgiving sale, or fifty percent off uh, Christmas sale. When 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 you see fifty percent off, you say, "Wow, I've got to get it. It's fifty percent off." But remember, it's vapor. It's like if you buy hundred and fifty dollars worth of MP3s, it didn't cost them anything. It's, it's like 145 of that $150 is profit. So, so they can charge you half and still make $75 for nothing. And, and so I, I'm really ab abhor, uh, I'm abhorrent about this. I'm incensed about this, you know. I'm really, really upset. Uh, another thing uh, I'm upset about, uh, if you've ever requested a prophecy of me or one of my services off, off my prophetic website, uh, I don't send emails. I don't have mailing lists. I think mailing lists and email marketing, once a day marketing um, uh, and uh, once a month, uh, once a day email marketing, once a week email marketing, this whole email marketing, that's all man's marketing techniques. And man's marketing techniques and selling the kingdom, selling the gospel has just heavily influenced the church, especially when you get, you know, 50% off Christmas sale, right? That is totally of Satan. It's not of God. And producing this vaporware, this, this MP3 download product, you know, um, you know it's, it's a, a, a total a sham. Jeremy Lopez is, is the person who runs uh, Identity Network and he's got all this vaporware too. And uh, e-books, you know, um, if you buy an e-book from his website, you're not paying the 30% Amazon. Uh, the, he, he's getting the whole 100%. And uh, what upsets me so much with Jeremy is I've got a, about 20 of his prophecies. He's very good at prophecy. But he'll go for seven minutes about the prophecy and then another five minutes selling you a product that God told him you need this product. So you pay $60 Australian, $40 American for the prophecy. Then he's selling you something that's $60 or $80 American on top of that. He's saying that the Lord told him you need that product. Now, I could I get 55 books. I could do prophecies and then recommend one of my books at the end of it. But people wouldn't appreciate it. And uh, from time to time, I do uh, recommend a book. And uh, But my books are 99 cents. And if, if I could make them for free on Amazon, which I do every uh, once every three months, if I could make my books for free, they'd be free. Uh, so I had a guy write to me once and he says, oh, and please don't recommend any of your books in the prophecy. I hate being sold to during the prophecy. And I wrote back, I said, I only recommend books when I know they're going to help people. Don't ever write to me again. Don't ever request a prophecy off me ever again. He, he wrote back, he said, I didn't mean to offend you. I said, well, you did. Because the Holy Spirit was leading me. If I shared books with you in the past, the Holy Spirit was leading us. Obviously, you didn't read them. So, uh, you know, you don't even want to pay attention to what the Holy Spirit's saying. So please don't ever write to me again. Um, but uh, Jeremy Lopez will do that with every single prophecy. Upsell. It's called upsell. It's a marketing technique. When uh, For years, when you walk in McDonald's, they used to say, do you want fries with that? Now they asked, uh, do you want a drink? Do you, do you want that uh, to be a meal deal? You can go in Australian McDonald's and ask for a quarter pounder and they'll say, do you want to eat that in a meal? That's upselling some fries and upselling a drink to you rather than just giving you the hamburger. You may only just want the hamburger. You could say you want a quarter pounder meal and that means you want a meal. But if you walk in and say you want a quarter pounder, 
They'll say, do you want that with a meal? That's an upsell, it's like a suggestion to make you send more money, spend more money. That's what Jeremy Lopez is doing. Every time he prophesies, he, he sells something twice as expensive. And most of the time it's vaporware. Most of the time it's like an $80 US dollar, 120 Australian dollar download, MP3 download with three PDFs and a free ebook, which is digital, which is just digital download, which doesn't cost anything. And, uh, uh, and uh, this, is, this is all rife all through Christian ministry. And uh, this is wolves in sheep clothing. Uh, many people uh, talk about, uh, you know, they don't want to be uh, seduced by a wolf. This is, this is selling in the temple. And uh, I, um, I spend 98% uh, of my money uh, on reproducing things of the kingdom. So I, I, I'm, I am upset and hurt by people who say I shouldn't charge for prophecy. But when people realise that their $30 that they paid for prophecy has gone into a book, when they realise that uh, $3,000 of them went into uh, paying uh, $15 a shirt for 200 shirts to be designed, uh, $3,000, um, when, when they realise that all of my money goes back into kingdom, and I'm not saying that the money that Jeremy Lopez gets or Jeremiah Johnson doesn't go back into kingdom, what I'm saying is they're spiritually raping you. You know, I like, you know, you, you should be able to produce something for $20 US, not $80 or $100 US. You know, it's not costing anything. And, uh, and, and you know, this whole email every day, two emails every day from Jeremy Lopez and I didn't even network. It's just sign you up and sell you things. You know, on every... Uh, uh, you know, teaching every day. It's got uh, pictures of books and downloads and things that you need to buy. You click on the uh, email, it takes you to the website. It's selling a book, it's selling a CD, it's selling this. It's sell, 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 sell. And uh, I'm sure, I'm sure Jesus doesn't support this. Uh, it's offensive to me uh, to see Easter deals and Christmas deals and uh, you know, um, uh, you know, Thanksgiving deals and all these sort of deals. You know, you want to uh, become a life partner, a life sponsor. With partnership, you get one teaching a month, and you get access, twenty percent discount off off our store and all our products. And you get twenty percent off some vaporware, twenty percent off something that doesn't cost anything, twenty percent. That costs them one cent to send you $150 worth. One cent and you pay $150. You get 20% off that. Wow, isn't that amazing? And you sell, send them $50 a month, $100 a month, and you'll get 20% off something that doesn't cost them any. You know? And um, I'm not just calling out Jeremy Lopez and Jeremiah Johnson. They're just two people I'm subscribed to. Uh, I see... Uh, I see uh, Many people are doing this. I'm just not subscribed to it. Bethel's got Bethel TV, and it's a subscription. So what they do is they just record conferences. They pay every, everyone pays for the conference. Then they video it. Then they put it on Bethel TV, and you can subscribe and listen to Bethel TV. And uh, it's all money, 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 and it's the god of money. And uh, so, um, uh, I just want to share you uh, with you. you. You might know that, you know. Uh, I, I've not one of my books, not one out of fifty-five, has ever returned me the finances. But why do I need the finances return when God gave me the money to produce them? I have fun doing prophecies. I like to do prophecies. I've got a thing called a prophetic blueprint where I do nine things that you're meant to do with your life. It costs $150 Australian, about $120 American. It takes me uh, about five minutes to find the nine things and then half an hour minimum to describe them in a video. It's, it's worth thousands of dollars. It's what you're here to do. I can't believe that people know about it and don't order one. You know, they'll spend 
uh, you know, a thousand dollars on a new TV, but they won't spend hundred and fifty dollars to find out what they're here to do. Uh, I, I think it's amazing that people wouldn't, and uh, it's it's worth so much more than that. And I decided that it, it's a good earner for me, but I've only done about forty of them. And people, but I haven't had one requested for months. Um, so. Uh, you know, I uh, I just want to share with people all these MP3 downloads, all these ebooks that you buy off people's website, even ebooks. You know, e even ebooks that are more than eight dollars uh, are like a ripoff, and, and uh, it doesn't cost anything. You know, a book, a book costs so much. It costs so much to print a book. You know, four and five dollars to print a book. And then you've got 20% uh, that's distribution and 40% at the retailer. So much of the cost of the book, there really isn't more than 15 or 20% profit in a book. Uh, you know, um, so a paperback or a hardback cover book, they have to be expensive because they cost a lot. But an e-book costs one cent to distribute to you. Uh, and, and an e-book, if you're producing a paperback, and the hardcover, you've already paid all the money for the editing for the paperback and the hardcover. You, you've already paid for the cover, all your costs. So, so ebooks are just the profit on top. And, and if someone's charging you 14 or $20 for an ebook, they're just gouging you for money. It's digital, it's vapor. And I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if you know that. I, I'm not sure. If, if you're listening to this, that you actually know that, that this 50% off sale, this 70% this, uh, off, this 20% uh, New Year's Eve special, there'll be Christmas sales, New Year's Eve sale, there was a Black Friday sale, there was a, uh, there was a you know, uh, Thanksgiving sale, then a Black Friday sale, then a, then a Black Monday sale, then a uh, Thanksgiving sale and a, and a Christmas sale, there'll be a New Year's sale, there'll be a Valentine's sale, there'll be sale, 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 sale. Nothing's a sale when it doesn't cost you anything. It's not a sale. I don't know about America, but in Australia, jewellery shops have always got 50% off. That's a bit sus. That's really suspect. If they've got 50% sales off, you know, the, the, their product must cost 10% for them to be given 50% off all the time. You know, uh, you know, when I go into a jeweler, they have 50% off, I say, I want 70% off. Give me 70% off. And uh, you yeah, just refuse to pay for anything more. So um, I just want to share that uh, it, it's annoying. I just got a Jeremiah Johnson uh, e email uh, broadcast, said he's got a 50% off. Christmas sale, uh, you know, like big deal. It's vaporware, and the whole shop is made of vaporware. I got a two thousand uh, videos on YouTube for nothing. Hey, you know, there's something else about YouTube, about my YouTube, different to a lot of other people. I can have two and three and four or five hour videos, but no advertisement. There's no advertisement. Ten minutes in, and twenty minutes in, and thirty minutes in. You never get stopped with an advertisement on my YouTube. There never will be. You know? I'd never, ever, ever buy anything off a YouTube ad because they're offensive to me. They annoy me. And, uh, and so, um, so that's another difference. All my videos are free. My books are essentially free. You, know, you can buy my 55 books for uh, you know, $55 American. You can, you know, go out for a steak dinner. Or you can own fifty-five of my books, and and that's how I am. Now I'm not Mr. Cheap, right? So many people have tried to convince me to make my books three dollars or five dollars. They say that people don't place value on in them. To uh, that they're so cheap, they only have to read one to realise they're profound books. And have to read one, then they don't think it's cheap. Then they think, well, this is amazing. Then they buy 10. You know, I had a person write to me uh, years ago and said I had the choice between buying someone's uh, Kindle book for $10 or 
or 10 of yours. So I chose 10 of yours. <laughs> it's amazing. How, how many people, how many of you listening have had 10 people buy one of your books? Right. How, how many of you listening, oh, uh, Miss, Miss said that, how many of you listening has, has had anyone buy 10 of your books? Number one, not many of you have read, read 10 books, but how many of you, if you've read 10 books, uh, written 10 books, how many of you had 10 people, ten, one person buy 10 of them? You know, here's another thing I know. If my books are $3, only one in six people uh, buy them. If they're, if they're $3, if they're 99 cents, six times the amount of people buy them at 99 cents and if they're at three dollars so six times the amount of people read my books then uh if they're three dollars so if if my if i want to get the message of christ and the gospel and the narrow way out doesn't it make sense that they're cheaper you know and if god financed me through prophecy and uh for, for my ministry for four years half of my ministry's income each each month uh, came from uh, people just donating money and didn't want anything. They're just supporting my ministry. How much, you know, if if everything I produced was supplied by God, and since I've stopped writing 12 weeks ago, the finances totally stopped. So the, the finances were only there to produce the books. So God supernaturally supplied the money. Why would I want to charge heaps when when God already paid for it? So, uh, you know, many people watch my videos and see, well, he's always in one of his shirts and he's always trying to sell his shirts. Well, you should go to the website and have a look at the effect you would have with people if you bought 10 of those shirts. Go and get your head and money away and see what effect you would have if, if you wore those T-shirts around all the time. You know, rather than preaching, the T-shirts would do the preaching. What if only just two people in a day actually read it and were affected? Go and pick 10 messages you really resonate with. I'm not selling. I don't s spend every video trying to sell them, right? I did it for a purpose and it's cost me. It's cost me to, to produce them because the Holy Spirit led me to. Uh, to, to do it. And I've got the other 200 of love that I'm going to start uh, doing in the future. But, you know, everyone's looking for false prophets and, and wolves. Uh, have a look at the people gouging you for money, selling in the Lord's temple, selling the gospel. I want you to consider it. This vaporware, uh, you know, this vaporware, it's just vapor. And uh, they're selling it to you. And uh, so uh, I encourage you to look into that and uh, you know, write to one of these ministries and say, can I pay you 10% uh, of what your products are worth? Uh, uh, you know, I watch this video which says it's vaporware. And uh, here's a link to the video. Um, you're mentioned in it, actually, Jeremiah. And, uh, and uh, you know... Ask him if you can have it for 10%. And, uh, tell him that it doesn't cost you anything anyway. So my 10% is more money than you'd get if I didn't buy anything. God bless you. See you.